All right, so today's segment, or this segment here, this segment is about finishing your work after you've taken it off the machine and you've finished with some scrap. I call this, um, this process single pass, off machine, bind off. I realized just now that while I have posted on Flickr and posted on the Facebook groups and even Instagram, um, I have not made a video. So perhaps let's do that now. It's actually straightforward, super easy. And then I can make this one segment two purposes. One, I'll, I'll post it separately uh, for just that procedure method to take it off the machine and finish it. And I'll also add it to the project I'm currently working on just for how to finish that project. All right, so just a quick introduction. When you're looking at uh, your finished results after doing this procedure, you will find it's quite beautiful, very stretchy, and you almost don't realize that it is done this way. And it's very, very easy. So when I look here, for example, when you see these two things, this is the top and the bottom of the flat universal um, cast on bonnet with split rings. When you look at that, you can see if you look real close, this was the hung hem, so that's why it's so extra gorgeous. And this is the single pass off machine bind off. That's at least what I call it. Perhaps somebody out there has the, another name for it, but this is the name I do, I have. So when I'm looking at that, this is it here, I can stretch it, it doesn't have any problems, It it's perfect. The purpose of this, of course, is just to secure the excuse me, the live stitch to the row that it lines up to, excuse me. So for example, when we look at another item, so this same version of that project, I started it um, from the bottom and I worked, rather I started it from the top, which didn't have anything done to it special. And I worked down to the bottom. When I got to the bottom, I'll turn it around. I did the same bind off, the single pass off machine bind off. And it looks quite impressive actually. It's very stretchy, it's flat, it's it's super easy. So anyways, this is the wrong side or pearl side, and this is the knit side or good side. So, you know, easy, beautiful, why not? So let's continue. Um, I've just done the project uh, how-to video for excuse me, the flat universal um, split ring cast on bonnet. And I'm at the very bottom of the project. So we, we work the top. I'm on the inside, of course. There is my hung hem. That's what it looks like. It's a little bit loose right now. And I work down the machine and I'm holding it in reverse because I'm I'm actually going to work on this corner. And what I've all I've done is I finished the machine, the live stitches with some scrap yarn. And for clarity, I've used a scrap that's very, very different than my working yarn. And so what I want to do here, for simplicity and clarity, I've made sure that my scrap is one color, my sock machine, sock yarn is that color. It's just easy to see where all the borders of everything is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the stitch I have here, this point, and I'm gonna connect it to the one down here that mirrors it in alignment. Um, this is a little easier if you iron it first so you have a little more definition when you're working, but I find that this particular reinforcement fiber that I'm using actually um, tends to curl regardless. So if I secure it and then iron it, it'll probably be happier. happier. So all you have to do is just as the name of it sounds, it's a single pass off machine bind off. So thread yourself a darning needle. These are a three pack at Walmart and wonderful because they're very flexible to and easy to thread regardless of your yarn thickness. And we want to take the the working live stitch that's there, and keep in mind it's actually the top part. 
this one that's up here. It'll be this top row that you see at the very top. It's not this little one here, it's this top row. So I want to actually kind of go through that loop. Because if I pulled on it and there was no sock yarn, no scrap there, it would come undone. So I'm just going to just trap it first, hold it with my thumb. And now that we've trapped it, once you get started, it's easy, kind of like Kitchener, unless you find Kitchener very difficult. But I think once you get it, you get it, and you're like, why didn't I get it? But anyways, so we want to line up to the furthest yellow bar, and that just secures it. It's super easy. So now that we've done the first pass, what I like to do is I just go to the next one. There we are. And it's gonna fold over like a cuff. Don't pull it too tight, but don't leave it too loose. Like Goldilocks said, just right. So we have there, and then the next bar. Hopefully it's straightforward, easy to see. Having good light makes a huge difference. And so the furthest yellow bar here, the topmost yellow bar there, straightforward. So we'll do that a couple more and then I'll put the video on pause and continue. So if you drop any of these somehow while you're working or miss one, put it down, go to the bathroom, come back, oh, where was I? Oh, I'll just do it. And you undo the scrap and things undo. Don't worry. Stop immediately. Get your darning needle out and same yarn and just sew it together. No one has to know. I won't tell if you won't. All right, so there we are. You get the premise. Basically, the parallel sets like a train track. Just capture them with a single pass. Now you can make this fancy, you could do double passes, you can go diagonal, you could do all kinds of stuff, but why? You don't need to. So then we'll line up this next one with this one on top, and we'll continue. So I'm gonna pause the video here to go further faster for you. Okay, so I have gone all the way over with that. And I have kind of ended there. I'll show you in a minute when I steam it because this is what it looks like now. Okay, so this is what the final result looks like. I have quickly steamed it with my iron. Now, at quick glance, it certainly doesn't look like it would be long enough, but it was, it is, it will be. And that's what that looks like. So let's zoom in. So this, of course, is the hung hem, that's what it looks like. And this is the single pass off machine bind off. And that's what we can expect it to look like. So thank you for watching today. My name is Karen Rommel, and here I am, paying it forward. Share your knowledge with someone else and help them when you can. Thank you and good night.